Hello all, welcome back to Be A Creative. Guess what? You guys are in a hop. Yep, it's the magic of winter YouTube hop. I'm super excited. This is my first one I have ever done. I am so thrilled to be working with such amazing artists and some really, really incredible sponsors. Speaking of sponsors, they are doing an awesome giveaway, so be sure to check the description box below so that you can follow the instructions and win all the things. The theme of this hop was winter. So when I think winter, I think snow and cold, and I honestly, it took me a minute to figure out how to translate that into an art project. When I finally came up with something, I decided I wanted to do something a little more uh, home decorish. And you guys know if I'm doing a home decor piece, it is probably going to be tag shaped. So I started with some cardboard. At, technically, I guess is a lightweight chipboard. It's just the back of an old uh, watercolor paper pad I had. Cut it down to a tag shape. And now what you're seeing me do is apply a whole mess of random torn up papers so that it's a little bit easier to paint over top of it. Because my goal is to get this thing as white as possible. Once I get all my little torn up pieces of paper and my little collage bits good and glued down using gel medium, I'm going to set that off to the side to dry and start working on my focal point. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, at this point in the artistic process, I really did not know what that focal point was going to be. I just knew I wanted a box around it. I also knew that I really needed to use some of this ideology stuff that I've been hoarding. Uh, I'm sure someone can relate to that. So I have that box that I picked out. I covered it very quickly with just white gesso. And I'm letting that dry. And now I'm starting to kind of build up the, the under layers of that focal point. Again, I don't really have a clear idea. I just know that I want blue and white. And I want it to be kind of messy and distressed. That That's what's guiding me in this process right here. I have a torn up tag that was already blue and some vellum that I'm randomly tearing to kind of lay over top of it. I know that I want a little bit of whatever this is going to be to stick out the, of the bottom and the top of the little frame and I knew that if I played my cards right I could get most of that to cover up the back of the tag because I didn't really have a clear idea of what I was going to do with that either. So after I get all of this put together it I finally decide what I'm going to do. Originally, I was going to like emboss some snowflakes on the vellum, but I was like, no, mm -mm, Shannon, you can do better than that. So I busted out my alcohol inks and I have a transparent sheet of Yupo paper. I get these at Jerry's Artorama. I love them. They're a little bit smaller than uh, ATC size. And this is transparent Yupo paper. So I know that whatever I have underneath it is going to slightly, you're going to, you're going to slightly see through it. Hence the definition of transparency. I have some blue alcohol inks and one very, very bluish purple. I don't know. Check the description box below for a list of the full supplies. And I'm starting to build my little picture. Now I'm thinking, you know what? What if I can make this look like it is a picture in a frame? A picture in a frame that is like an abstract representation of snow. Hot damn, I'm onto something. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that all of my alcohol inks are falling in a straight line. That's why you're seeing me pick the little piece of uh, you put paper up straight and then use the squeegee hand thing to blow it straight down. I don't want it to splatter all over the place. I want to try to keep it as straight as possible. I'm using the little piece of paper underneath it to catch the runoff at the end so it doesn't pull up and leave those unsightly black marks that sometimes alcohol ink will do on Yupa paper, especially if you're not particularly skilled in it, which I definitely am not. I'm really just kind of experimenting and playing. I did think about leaving a little bit of white space, but mm, I decided against that. And I wanted like a whole gentle wash of color along the bottom. So I'm using that, that light pool color, using some blending inks, the little squeegee thing, until I get something that's really faded. So I'm digging how this looks, but now I'm wishing I had left some white space. So I'm going in with the Pinata White. This is an amazing alcohol ink. And I... White always covers a multitude of scents. I don't care whether it's gesso, whether it's paint, or whether it's alcohol ink. I'm doing the same thing as I did before, making sure that it goes in straight lines. But with the white, I don't mind if it splatters a little bit because as it bleeds into the other colors, it's going to give this really cool organic effect so it doesn't look quite so straight and, you know, 
straight. Like I just held it up straight down. I don't know. I was really pleased with how this, this, uh, turned out. So I knew at this point I needed to stop messing with it or I was going to ruin it. So now I've got to kind of piece all of this together. I have a couple of pieces of proper Yupo paper that I had used to, uh, wipe up the dirty water after a marbling session. And through complete happenstance, the colors almost matched perfectly. And as I had previously stated, I wanted this to extend beyond the little frame that I had and cover up most of the tag. So I just cut it in half to use it in, you know, to create more stuff to extend that frame. And now my whole little collage assembly, if you will, is ready to go. But I do have to do something about the back of this tag. Since the focal point is going to eat up so much of the surface area on the tag, I decided I didn't need to do anything like super fancy to it. I'm just applying some uh, crackle paste pretty heavily, like buttercream frosting level thickness to it, and I'm going to let that dry. So since my goal is to make this look like a picture in a frame hanging on a wall, I figured that it actually needs to look like a frame. So I have some cardstock that's like wood paneled, and I simply just cut it up and then glued it down. I, I did leave a little bit of the white showing because honestly, I just like the way it looked. So while all of that is drying, because 90% of this project is just gel medium, I decided to work on my focal point. I have some black acrylic paint 3.0 that I am liberally applying over this tiny little piece of paper. I'm going to use this with my new favorite technique, and that's basically to make it look like a tiny piece of chalk. Uh, chalkboard. So once it's good and dry, I'm going over it with a piece of chalk. The reason that this works so well, I think, is because Black 3.0 dries almost completely matte. So it, it actually has a little bit of tooth or texture to it. Once I get the chalk down, I'm going to spray it with some water and then use, well, I'm going to try to <laughs> use my heat gun and dry it. This will uh, set the chalk. I don't know if this will work with all acrylic paints, but I've had great success with it so far. I busted out my favorite white pigment ink. That's the uh, Brilliance White Pigment Ink. And I'm edging that little piece of paper in the uh, in just the chalk to give it just a little, a little bit of an outline. So I did cut the stamp in half. It was a little tiny text stamp that originally said dashing through the snow, but nobody's dashing over here. I just wanted the through the snow part. Uh, don't worry, I won't lose it. I'll make sure it goes back. But uh, I thought that was perfect because it's supposed to be snow. So finally, now here we go. We're going to put all of this together with probably about a pound of gel medium because there's so many things on this tag. And I know I'm talking a little quizzaciously about the gel medium, but honestly, vellum can be really tricky to glue down, so you kind of have to use a lot. Just to add a little pop of color, I have a die cut that I have adhered to the side of the frame, and boom, we're going to call this done. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next video in the hop can be found in the description box below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on all of the videos from our amazing artists. Thank you guys so much, good luck in the drawing, and I will see you next time. Hey, here's some more videos that you might like, and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can see more of my content.